art block. We've all been there, we've all heard about it, and it's something that's inevitable when creating art. How can you get over art block? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you 10 different things that you can do to get over art block. I personally hate art block and I've been there so many times where I just open a page in my sketchbook and I really just don't know what to do. I can't draw, I don't know how to start. I'm not inspired at all. Over the past few years, I had a really hard time with this and everything that I've learned is gonna be in this video. So I'm just gonna state the stuff that works for me and that helps me get rid of it. I'm not gonna get over it using only one tactic, so that's why I'm giving you 10. Okay, so the first tip that I have is look at inspiration on Pinterest. I don't know about you, but normally when I'm drawing, I usually look at Pinterest to like find reference because I can't really draw just using my mind. I'm just not as good. Go on your homepage and choose the first person that comes up, the first object. Choose that and just draw it. That's going to start your creative flow. Choose one that you know you can do and stick to it don't run away from it don't try to do something else because that's going to make you not want to draw practicing anatomy and it's something that really helps us as artists even though we don't want to admit it it is true if you don't really know how to draw a body try drawing them look at reference pictures tutorials ideas videos and it will really help you out Another thing that I have is a sketchbook checklist. When I start a new sketchbook, I usually write down what I want to achieve in that sketchbook. Draw more landscapes. I want to use more colors in my drawings. So I have all of these. <laughs> it's my dog right there. Anyways, I usually have a list on the first like the front page of my sketchbook and when i do finish drawing the object technique etc that's on my list i feel super happy because i'm not only getting over art block but i'm also one step closer to finishing that checklist listening to music this does not work for everyone it's kind of a more abstract idea so i usually put on my favorite playlist or the songs that i'm listening to currently that i really really like and i'll just kind of put on my headphones feel it out i'll start drawing and there's no pressure it's really fun scrapbooking i love scrapbooking collecting stickers sticking papers on everything when i usually don't know how to start off on a sketchbook page i'm kind of scared like i don't want to make a mistake so i just i take a bunch of papers and i stick them on my sketchbook and then i always leave like blank spaces on that paper so that i can have at least a little bit of my art on that page when everything is blank it really intimidates me personally and i'm sure it intimidates other people too if it doesn't turn out how you want it to be you can just stick something over it looking at other people's art now, you have to be really, really careful with this. Personally, I can get really distracted when using Instagram, TikTok. Just pick an artist that you like, someone you follow, someone you admire, and look over a couple of their recent drawings. Take it all in. Give yourself a time limit. Mine is normally like 10 to 20 minutes. I'm like, okay, so I turn off that device and I just start drawing, thinking about the stuff that I saw 10 minutes ago. Be experimental. If you've never drawn with acrylic, if you've never drawn with gouache, or you have, doesn't matter. Take that medium, use it however you want. Color the whole page if you have to. Drawing on a different paper. When you draw on a different paper, it kind of takes off that stress of, oh, it's gonna be on my sketchbook, like I can't get rid of it. If you don't like it, you can put it away, throw it away, whatever you want. But if you do like it, you can stick it in. It's just such a good idea, honestly, and it really helps me out. Try to recreate old art and drawings. Obviously, we have all improved if you're recreating something from two years ago, so it's really satisfying. It helps gain confidence when drawing. You can show other people and be like, hey, look at the difference. Look how much I have improved. 
using bigger nibs. What I mean by that is normally when I have art block, it's because I'm using very, very thin pencils and I'm trying to put a lot of detail and it's just not coming out the way I want it to. Maybe use a really thick Sharpie, a really thick pen. Markers made for kids. It makes you not focus on tiny little details that really don't matter and the only one that looking at them is you so using bigger nibs when you have art block is literally the best anyways guys i hope this video really really helped you out on your art block and that you are not struggling anymore comment down below if you have any other video ideas that you would like me to do and make sure to like this video if you really really enjoyed it and if it helped you out thank you so much for watching bye